What's up guys, Adam here with another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you a little bit about and how to install one of these USB outlets. But before I get into all of that, if you're new to the channel and you like how to's and do yourself type videos for around your home, then as you watch this video consider hitting that red subscribe button down below. And if you find the information in the video to be helpful to you, let me know by leaving a comment down below and also giving the video a thumbs up. So some people might be wondering, why do I need a USB outlet? Well, you don't necessarily need a USB outlet. It's really just more for convenience purposes. Pretty much all the technology that we have now, whether it's cell phones or uh, tablets or cameras or whatever it may be, most of the technology now is charged using USB technology or USB cords. And with those USB cords, you have all those bricks, whether they're small or big, depending on what it is that you're charging is included with your device. If it's one of those bigger ones, a lot of times it gets plugged into your outlet and you can't plug anything else in. So you have to unplug two things in order to charge one thing. So it's about convenience in that way. And then also with all the bricks that we all have from all the devices that, you know, if we end up losing one, then we got to borrow it from something else. And it's just not convenient. So if you install one of these, on this particular device, and they're all going to be different. Some of them have more outlets than this, but on this one, we've got two USB outlets that you could just plug your USB cord directly into without having to use one of those bricks, which then allows for you to plug in your standard things into your standard outlets. So again, it's all about just really convenience. It's just a more modern approach to being able to charge things. So I'm going to go over to the workbench. I'll show you what kind of comes with this outlet and it's not a whole lot to look at. And then after that, we'll start with the installation portion of the video. All right. So like I said, there's not a whole lot of parts that go into this. All the wiring is already going to be in the wall since we're just replacing a outlet that's already there. Of course, you got the new outlet that's got the two standard USB outlets and then two standard outlets. And then on the back for the installation purposes, it designates exactly where each wire is going to go. The hot black wire goes up in the top left here. The white neutral wire goes over here in the top right. See the screws for each. And then down at the bottom where this green screw is, that is where the ground wire is going to go. So all pretty standard stuff. And then it also comes with the cover that's going to go on top of the outlet to make it look nice. And of course, it also comes with instructions, which I encourage you Please, when you're installing this, make sure you're following these instructions step by step. Now that we've gone over the parts that are going in, we can start with the installation process. But before we start with installing or removing the old outlet, we need to turn off the power going to the outlet that you're replacing. So go to your main panel and locate the circuit breaker that controls the power going to the outlet that you're wanting to replace and turn that circuit breaker to the off position. Once you've done that, you need to confirm that the power is in fact off to the outlet. And you can do this by using a multimeter and making sure that the power is in fact off. Once you've confirmed that the power is off, then we can go ahead and get started with the actual installation of this new USB outlet. All right, so now that we've confirmed that there's no power going to this anymore, we can remove all of the wires by loosening the screws. Over here on the right side, you'll see two black wires. One wire is going to be the power coming in and the other black wire is going to be a wire going on and continuing the circuit to some of the other outlets on the circuit. And on the left side is the neutral wires. They're a white wire with more of a silver top for the screws as opposed to brass like the, the hot side was. And then at the bottom is the green ground screw and we'll need to unscrew all of these and remove all these wires. Alright, so the first wire that we're going to put into the outlet is going to be the ground wire. It's just this bare copper wire and it's going to go down underneath of this piece of metal here and then we'll tighten the green screw down on top of it. Alright, so the next wires we're going to install are going to go over here on this top left side and that is where our hot black wires go and it's got more of that copper finish to the screw so that's typically where hot wires go whereas then the neutral is more of a silver head so let's go ahead and insert both of those now 
and they'll just both go into those little holes that they have. And so then that leaves us just with these last ones, which would be the white neutral wires. And we'll go ahead and just put those in the top right here into these two holes here and then tighten the screw down like we have on the other wires. All right, so now that all the wires have been connected, we can now push everything back into the box and we can screw down the screws into the box. All right, so now that everything's been connected and the outlet is screwed down, I like to make sure everything works before I put the cover on it. So I'll use this tester and as long as these two lights are the only ones that turn on, then we know everything is good. All right, so everything was installed correctly. So the only other thing I wanna test are these two USB charging ports. And we'll just do that by plugging in a phone and see if the phone goes in the charging mode. So check the right one. There the charging mode popped up. So we'll check the other one. And as you can see, it also went in the charging mode. So everything's hooked up well, it's all charging and working. And Another thing about this particular outlet, it does have a chip in it, so it knows what kind of device that you've plugged into it, and then it optimizes the amount of power that it then sends to that particular device so it doesn't overcharge or undercharge, but it gets it charged as fast as possible. All right, guys, so that's pretty much all there is to installing a USB electrical outlet. It really isn't too hard, as you saw. There's not a whole lot to it. But if you still don't feel comfortable in installing this yourself, then there's nothing wrong with that. I would definitely then advise you to contact your locally licensed electrician, and they're going to be able to install this for you in no time. So I hope that you found this video to be helpful and informative, and if you did, please let me know by leaving a comment down in the comment section down below, and also giving the video a thumbs up. It really helps the video out. And if you like how-tos and do-it-yourself type videos for around your home, then that's what this channel is all about. And we've got a bunch of videos coming out. We have one coming out on a weekly basis, and we have a bunch that you can go check out that we've already done in the past. So consider subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next video.